What's up guys, the Merry Gamer here, and welcome back to the JSNO fan server, episode 49. We're so close to the magical halfway, or like the half century, you could say, the magical 50. But how are you doing guys? It's been a little bit, it's been a while. I think I did one, an episode last week in this, it's, I've, the last week has been really, really hectic. That's why there was no episode Monday, I'm releasing, I'm going to be releasing this on Tuesday. I've just been really swamped the last, um... Last few days, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, was just flat out. And even um, Monday and Tuesday were pretty busy as well. Like Wednesday kind of um, was like my off day in a bit. But, uh, geez, it's been um, <laughs> it's been really tiring. I've had um, a really good week. I've got a lot to talk to you guys about. Um, so what we're going to do... Oh, no, not that one. I want that one. Uh, we're just going to continue building the ISS here. So I'm just going to swap over to this camera look here. And we're just going to do some more building on the ISS. We haven't done any building on here for quite some time. It's been maybe two episodes ago or so. So you're looking at maybe two. Uh, but then I think I remember I recorded this and then the recording failed or something. So yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff. So um, I thought it was best to kind of get back to the ISS and kind of do a little bit of an update for you guys with the ISS and how that's going. And plus what's going on in my life and by golly it's been as I said it's been very very busy I haven't been felt this busy in quite some time so it started off with um you know uni early in the week and then uh you know started ending off the week with a bit of uni again and then uh work and then work my way into a fantastic and very enjoyable 21st birthday that went over all of um, what was it, Saturday afternoon through to Sunday morning, and then Sunday afternoon I had the Cricket World Cup, <laughs> and then here we are, Monday, 11.30, and I just woke up like 20 minutes ago because I didn't get home again to, like, yeah, I didn't get home from the Cricket World Cup till about 1 in the morning, so, and I was running on about, over the entire weekend, maybe about like 7 hours sleep for the past like 2 days, so I was absolutely wrecked. So it's just been, it's been hectic, but it's been really fun, and yeah, I just had an awesome, awesome weekend. Um, before I talk, I just need to make sure I get everything I need. I'm going to grab some of you and bring you across. Oh, uh, the lanterns, the redstone. Um, I will need, do I have iron blocks? Yes, I'll bring that. Um, uh, let's bring some color with us bring that let's bring that i think that's the main if you can hear some banging i am sorry we've got a current renovation as well going in our house at the moment so that's another thing to add to the list of what's going on <laughs> in my life it's just been really crazy and that's why i haven't um been doing any live streaming i've had a few people message me or like either tweet me or um skype me or even in the comment section youtube just saying hey where's what's happened to your streaming you're still planning on doing some more streaming and i do i'll be getting back into some streaming again this week it's just been so crazy i just haven't had the time to get around to it and trust me i have missed i really have missed um streaming i really do enjoy it it's great fun i actually really want to get back into the feed the beast part of the stream because uh that was probably the best part um well, it was probably one of the ones i enjoyed the most that with um the good old payday too i wouldn't mind getting into again as well so uh we got a lot of plans this week and um one, one of the ones i need to talk about is uh as well i'm gonna need to get on the outside as well so i was kind of like start through how the week um because like this week has been not only busy with just a lot of things going on. It's also been very busy personally. I've had to make, um, <clears throat> this week I've had to make a very big personal decision. Uh, something that I didn't think, oh, I don't have any like spare blocks. I need to go get that. Um, something that I've been needing to, well, not really needing to do, but it's something that's going to help towards what I need to do. So this, uh, big personal decision revolves around uni. So, uh, as some of you know, I study at Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology in Melbourne's Victoria, Australia. I also study mechanical engineering there. And um, I'm at the point where my course splits. So, I have the first part, I'm getting a degree just in basic engineering, and then it branches out into mechanical. I'm actually specializing in mechanical at the moment because I'm actually doing both at the same time because I was able to. So, um, my first degree was actually going to end uh, this semester. 
and I would have finished that one and then had about a year and a half to go to get to the next one, and then I was done. Uh, but there was an issue uh, with my uh, degree, which was the fact that in my, when I first started uni, and I think everyone, not everyone, but a majority of people go through this, uh, everyone kind of slacks off, you know, everyone kind of goes through that party phase, that, um, you know, I'll be alright, you know, have a bit of fun, catch up a bit later sort of phase. I did that pretty badly when I first started uni. I did that for about a good year, about a year and a half, because it was my first semester and a half where, um, my first three semesters, I really messed up a lot of courses. And so Australia uses the GPA system here, and, um, hold on, I need to get out of this... Uh, thing here and get on to the outside. So, the way it works is Australia uses the GPA system, and the GPA system is good, it really is. Um, also, hate it at the same time because it um, it's a bit of a pain uh, because if you fail something, which I did fail a few things my first year of uni, uh, it really does impact your GPA. Oh, there goes my phone. Uh, oh, uh, hold on, I'll just quickly reply to that. Um, but yeah, as I'll, I'll keep talking though, because it's an easy one. Uh, yes, I believe so. I believe so. Um, so yeah, like, um, the GPA system, like, it's good. Like, it, it does what it has to do, but, um, if you, like, fail something, it really does impact your GPA, and that's the problem with my GPA is that it really got impacted by the fails I had in my first year. And, um, like I was doing really good at uni for the past like year and a half, two years. Um, like I've been nailing everything, like getting like HDs uh, or distinctions and that, uh, which has been helping the GPA, but it just can't get past that initial first year, uh, mess up really. So, um, but I've been told of a loophole in the system and, um, it's a bit of, um, an interesting one and it's also a bit of a sacrifice at the same time. So the way the loophole works is that the course that I'm doing, um, I can transfer into, oh wait, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm that side because if I look to, yeah. Um, I can transfer into the exact same course I'm doing, uh, but just a different group practically. And uh, it doesn't, uh, what, what it does to my GPA is that it eliminates all the mess ups I had in my first year or so and um, it'll end up making my GPA go through the roof. And I'm talking, um, the GPA that they have at RMIT is up to 4.0. So 4.0 is a HD, obviously. And um, that is wrong. Uh, so that's the highest I can potentially get. I'm not going to get a 4.0, but I'm going to be sitting at around about 3.2. So I'm a, I'm a distinction or higher. So that's how, and before that, I'm sitting at just under a 1. So I'm a 1.9 at the moment, so it's going to send it through the roof, which is amazing, which is exactly what I need it to do. And the reason why I needed the GPA to go through is because it helps with the later course, um, because it means that I can actually specialize in exactly what I want. Uh, if you don't have a high enough GPA, then you don't get to select certain things, which really, really sucks. Um, so that kind of restricts me in my options. So this is why I have to do it. But the only catch to this entire thing is that if I want to transfer into this other course, fix my entire GPA, and, um, oh, son of a bitch, okay. Uh, and make it all fine and dandy. Uh, I have... Well, when this comes out, this will be on the day. I have to decide tomorrow if I want to do this. Um, I have to go on a leave of absence from my university and um, let you take this semester off because I've, I missed the deadline date to swap. So, but I can go on a leave of absence, swap into the next, uh, the same course, but different, just different group next semester and it fixes everything. So... How? How am I... Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to pillar because the next time I'm not going to hit this. So, um, in the end, like the sacrifice, like this big personal decision I need to make is um, more the fact that I need to now take up until July, <clears throat> July from uni off, which is something I didn't really want to do. But the more and more I think about it, it's something that I kind of have to do. Because uh, it's going to fix all my issues. Like Because um, my biggest issues in my uni at the moment is revolving around that GPA. And the moment I eliminate it, the moment it becomes just so much more easier. So that's what I'm going to do practically. And that's one of the big life decisions that I've had to kind of decide this week as long with all my, all the other busy stuff that's been going on practically. So it's definitely, definitely full on at the moment. And, um, hold on. I think I've done this wrong. All right, I need to look at this and look at turn and look at this way. The block should be 
Yeah, the block was on this one. It was not on the other one. So the block goes here. This block goes. There we go. Because that turns into something else. So yeah, that, so that's one of the big things I've been faced with with this week, and it's uh, it's definitely, definitely interesting. Um, but um, I, I, it's going to be in the end for the best, you know. It's going to fix a lot of issues, so that's what I'm going to have to do. Like I, that's what I kind of had to look at it. It was more the fact that okay, yeah, I'm going to be putting myself back six months, but in the end, it's kind of like small sacrifice for great reward, sort of in a situation. So that's what. I've, that's the way I'm looking at it at the moment. And everyone I've talked to about it's kind of just said, well, they all know that I've always complained about the GPA stuff. And the moment I get out, get like uh, get it fixed, is the moment that it um kind of just all works out, really. So uh, that that's the plan, and uh, that's what I'm doing. So I'm practically now not at university till July of uh, this year. So I'm literally go to America next. Um, uh, during this year, and exactly when I return, like, I think, like, two days later after I return, I'm back at uni. <laughs> it worked out pretty well, so it didn't even interfere with my holiday. So, uh, that's one of the things I've been very, very busy with, uh, so far. Uh, okay, let's get back down here, because we need to kind of do the side. So, let's look here. And then this need, uh, this goes down three, I think, if I can remember correctly. So, let's do this side first, so I don't get confused. Uh, but then, um, yeah, the other good stuff was, like, um, I had a friend or work colleague, uh, she had her 21st birthday uh, this weekend, and it was absolutely amazing, had a great bunch of fun on that, so that's another reason why there hasn't been any live streams either, because I've been kind of busy with that as well, I guess. Um, but I've just been really, really, oh, what's going on here? No, you're only two, not three. Um, yeah, so I've been, like, really flat out the past few days, and... I kid you not, like, last night was one of the best sleeps I've had in such a long time. It was amazing. And, like, to tap off, uh, just, like, to top off, um, last night as well was, um, I'm, I'm a big cricket fan. I don't talk about too much about sports and that here and there, but I do talk about them now and then. Uh, but I'm a big cricket fan. I enjoy my cricket. I love, I do love the sport. Um, oh, you need to be a different thing. I need to do this, don't I? Uh, yeah, I'm like a big cricket fan. I really do enjoy my sports in that way and in that regard. If I break you, you're just gonna... You're gonna just... No, 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 you stayed. Alright, that block's gone. Can I... No, I can't. Alright, no worries. Um, but yeah, so the Cricket World Cup was um, last night. And by golly, that was an amazing match as well. It was Australia versus New Zealand, the two hosting countries. Um, played at the MCG, MCG down in uh, Melbourne, so had tickets to that. Had to go see it, of course. Why wouldn't you? And um, yeah, it was just another amazing, amazing thing to witness. Like I witnessed Australia win the um, Cricket World Cup back in 2007, which was back in England, and you know it was, it was great just to um, to be able to sit here and or well, just to witness it again practically because uh, you don't you don't get to do it too often. Um, and it clarified Australia's position because just before the Cricket World Cup, Australia was announced as the best ODI or one day cricket, uh, one day innings, um, like cricket, uh, best practically. So the best in one day cricket. And, uh, everyone was saying that they're probably going to lose it, uh, because of the World Cup and we ended up winning it. So we've just defended our title practically of, uh, being the best in one day cricket in the world. So... Yeah, no, it was, it was a good match. It was really fun. Um, a bit disappointing for the Kiwis, I, I admit. They uh, kind of... Like, they played good, but they it just felt like they didn't turn up. I don't know. It was... Um, Australia bowled really well, though. Like, And so did the Kiwis, actually. They bowled really well, but we finished with a lot of innings, le a lot of um, overs left. So... But yeah, it's just been... <clears throat> it's just been hectic. It's been busy... Uh, this week's a bit more calmer now, so I'm going to get back into some live streaming. Um, I think I will do... I could potentially might even do one today, where I'll probably talk about all this stuff again. Um, or I might do one tomorrow after this video comes out. I haven't decided on which one I'm going to go with yet. If I break you, you're not you, are you? No. This is meant to be... This. And I actually have carpet on top of it. But that's okay. Alright. So now let's go down here. And let's do this side. So this is always the annoying part about this dang thing. is like the amount of times I have to go up and down. And uh, 
try and figure out what's the best way of building this because it does get a bit dangerous. So, what are you? You are red. Oh, I have a red block there. Why do I have a red block there? Huh. I obviously placed it for a reason. <laughs> I just don't remember why I placed it there. Um. Hold on. Let's, uh... What have we got? What have we got? Because I need to look at... Yeah, because there's a block up on here. No, not you, though. Not one of you. Bugger. Um, all right, let's do that. It's supposed to be a wall block. There. Oh, man, it's been a while since I've actually even played and tried to build something on Minecraft, so I am a bit rusty. Again, because uh, I, I seriously haven't... I've hardly touched Minecraft this week. So there's that. That came off that one. Um, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, man. I'm trying to think of the best way to build this. This is getting a bit hard. Uh, okay, if I do this, let's go on the inside. If I break you, this will just make it so much more easier to get in and out of here. All right, so let's look from the inside, because the inside will be a bit easier to build, I reckon. So let's break these. So the way this works is that this goes down again. So this is another thing that goes up and... Uh, not up, this one. No, this one only goes down. So it's not too bad, but it is a bit difficult and a bit challenging to build. So this needs to go here. And then if I go here, let's just get the same block out so then I don't forget to replace it. All right. So, if I... <clears throat> I'm going to place you here, because I don't need that at the moment. If I place this here, then if I go here, and then I can go here as well. Then this is where the doorway is, which is partially built. And if I break this, I kind of don't want to break it as well, <laughs> because I know, knowing me, I will fall through it. So, let's, um, let's keep to this at the moment. So on this side here, we also have an iron block. So let's place you and let's get the iron block placed in here. So that's that. Um, there is no... That is a red block. Yeah, it is. It's weird that I have a red block there, but apparently it is. Um, is it a red block or is it... No, it's not a red block, actually. It's... um. It's just normal hardened clay. Okay, that, that makes it actually easier. I don't need to go color it. So let's just grab that and put that back in the inventory and place that here. And then let's get one of these because that makes it so much more easier. Okay, if I place that there, that makes it much better. And then I need to have... Oh, wait, you're not you. You are... I need a crafting table. Where are you? Crafting table. So, um, yeah, so as I've said a few times, uh, it's been a very, very busy week. And um, I'm trying to think if there's any other big things. Uh, there are a few things I wouldn't mind talking about, but I don't know if it's the right moment to talk about them just yet. They're more revolving around the channel. There's one, um, oh God, uh, there's one that I will bring up, and that is that on, <clears throat> when did I get, because Sal tweeted me about it. Um, because, uh, I was out, but, um, when she tweeted me, um, it was, t she told me practically that I'd reached 700 subscribers, which was insane. Like, um, we've really gone up in our subs quite quickly over the past, uh, two months, I think, like, but it was literally when we started, uh, recording with Jeff, uh, I, I instantly noticed a difference, as you kind of would with someone at, a, at his channel size, um, it d didn't surprise me that there was going to be a bit of an increase, but uh, before I started recording with Jeff, I think I was at around about just over uh, 560 subs. And here I am now sitting at over 700. So over the past two months, I've gone up quite a few subscribers, which is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And um, it's something that uh, hopefully will just keep on growing, really. Uh, we're going to need something here, aren't we? There's nothing. Okay, I'm just going to place you there and then just break you for now. Because I know that a block goes there. Um, let's go down here. 
because now since that's practically done it makes it so much more easier to kind of see what's going on you have no idea how hard it gets to build some of these things sometimes so if I look to my left I should and it was we're missing something on that other one as well that I need to do so there was that one and then we actually have another one that goes out here and here and then we have another block that goes um, here really hold on oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then here was it the same oh wait hold on was it the same on the top and the bottom uh, presumably it was it was it was it was okay that's okay so then an iron block goes here um that staircase shouldn't be here though Oh, no, 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 it should. It should, it should, it should. What's throwing me? What's throwing me off here? Uh, I think it's... Yeah, it's you two. You two are throwing me off. All right, so let's grab this, and let's put that here and here. So, um, yeah, as I was saying before, like we hit 700 subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. I didn't think we'd hit it uh, that quickly for this year. And i just like to say thank you guys for supporting the channel. You know, it really means a lot to me. Um, you know, this is just a hobby, but it seems like, um, you know, it becomes more and more worth it every, kind of like more, the more and more you record and play because um, you kind of get to meet new people. You kind of get to, you know, just um, breach out to newer audiences as well. And that's where it makes it uh, even more exciting than uh, what it is. You kinda, it kind of leaves you speechless sometimes as to... Um, just how fun this can be, even though it is just a hobby, it is uh, quite enjoyable. And uh, I'd just like to say thanks for helping reach 700, and maybe if it continues like this, we might even reach um, good old 1,000 by the end of the year. We what, we don't know, we might just do that, so that would that'd be pretty cool if we ended up doing that. Um, oh wait, which one? Okay, good, that was the right one. Alright, let's just fall down here so I don't die. But um, yeah, so I think we've also hit has 60 something thousand views as well which is also another amazing little uh little goal as well you kind of always have to be can uh, mob spawn on carpet uh yes they can yes they can yeah i know it's annoying i wish they can i remember when they first introduced them i think that they didn't spawn on carpet yeah i know trust me <sighs> i know <laughs> yeah like because um I was hoping when I well, like when I built the hub, I wanted it so that hardly any Pikmin can spawn in the uh, Nether. But unfortunately, that's not how it works, and they ha they can still spawn on the good old um what you call it the good old uh, carpet. So it ends up making it much more worse for spawning, which I didn't really want. But you kind of can't help it either because it's just in the game. So hopefully, maybe dinner bone in that might change in the future, but for now, I don't think so. I think it's going to be a, a feature that stays for a little while. Um, this one, actually, okay. That's all right. Uh, this one... This one doesn't have a point of contact, does it, if I remember correctly? No, it's point of contact is under it, which... Oh, no, don't fall. All right, so yeah, this one doesn't have a point of contact, so I just need to do this for now. All right, so that is this done. There is another section that goes down similar to this. It's a, just a tiny bit um, different. It's a bit longer, and it has actually a tiny bit of um, sandstone in it, which is the first uh, vision of sandstone you guys get to see in uh, in this build, which is pretty good, actually. It's kind of nice to get sandstone, like a different, a different color block uh, in the mix. It always is good to do that. So I'm going to do that, do that. Let's do that. Get you angled there. And now I'm pretty sure that I need to do this. And then this is where I've come a bit ill prepared because there's a block here that I haven't got on me. But I just need to make sure that this side is done, which I don't think it is. So let's get on this side. So you have that. Yep, and then you have that, and then I need to get up on top and finish up here. So we had that, and we just need to do this, and then I think just a slab, isn't it? So a slab or a full block? I wouldn't have a clue. Uh, it's a slab. So let's do the slab. 
up here as well. Oh, and he's on the underside, so that means he's also on the underside of you. Alright, uh, I'll have to destroy that pillar. This but the up outside of here is now done. This little intersection is now done. And this is where it gets interesting. This is actually where um, it starts changing up a tiny bit. Because now it kind of goes down a tiny bit here. And I'm going to try and build that as quickly as possible on camera now. And then that's where it goes into another section. And that section is... Um, I think it has more storage, I think, if I remember correctly. I think I have more storage in there as well. Or that actually, no, that helps split off to a few more newer directions. So what I'm going to do is place that there. And now... Oh, wait. No, that didn't want... I don't know if that went there. I need to check. Uh, that needed to go here. And then if I go in here... No, it didn't go there. Yeah, yeah, because this is where... Yeah, because it opens up into a bit of storage in this little staircase part. And then it goes into a bit more... Again, a tiny bit more storage, but then it kind of opens up into a bit more detail. <coughs> but I need to get uh, brown... Uh, not brown, uh, black stained clay... But I don't know if I have ink sacks. If I don't have ink sacks, I won't be able to build it. Um, I think... Okay, no, we do, we do have ink sacks. Good, 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 good. All right, so let's do this. So, um, yeah, the ISS isn't too far from being finished. Um, I don't know how long it will take us because I am kind of building it bit by bit. Like, I potentially might... What I might do is build this little bit here that we need to build, then this bit I'll build off camera, and then maybe the next extension to this bit I might build in a stream or something um, to kind of just get back to the ISS and give it the bit of focus that it needs because I don't want the project to drag on too long. I wouldn't mind getting into a few newer projects as well. Uh, one of them being actually Jay Sanoland. I, re I really want to get into uh, finalizing a few things there. It's, uh, it's a really good time really to get Jay Land up and running really it's uh, uh we've just recently opened it as well so that makes it even better we've already got a whole bunch of people building there which is amazing it people started building there really really quickly uh which surprised me uh how quickly just people started building one two three four five oh can i okay uh i think i can but then after this this whole grid system might actually have to go down one as well <laughs> Because I've kind of forgot this actually does go down a bit. So let, let's just keep it with this at the moment. If we have to change, we have to change it. But, um, alright, we need to go one, two. And then, technically, um, I need to go here. So we'll do that on this other side as well, because I'm pretty sure it's symmetrical. And here comes the rain. Fan dabby dozy. Kind of always rains on this server. I think I've got my rain noises down as well. If you notice, I'm actually not using my Faithful Texture Pack at the moment. I'm actually staying in the good old Terra Restore Texture Pack because it's um, much, much more easier probably just to stay in that Texture Pack for now. It really is. Um, every time I record Terra Restore with Jeff, uh, I end up like at the start of each one that we do. Um, I had to swap my Texture Pack, so I'm just keeping it on at the moment. Uh, and I actually don't mind it because I get to listen to the epic music that Mythy... Uh, put in, which um, I kind of cannot complain. It is really, really cool uh, music. His music that he's put in this is just just phenomenal. It's really, really cool. And um, if no one actually has played it, I would suggest doing it. It is a really good map. Uh, this one goes three as well, and then goes two closest to here. And then on top... We go six, so then one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's that there. Um, let's just see, is there any more I can do to the bottom? I think there is. I'm looking at it from a different direction though, so I need to get on this side, I think. Am I? No, it was the same right side. All right, let's swoop back around. So what do I need to do here? So we've got you. Um, there needs to be, okay, so I need to go here and here, place a block here and here. And then I need to place one there. And then technically one underneath it, like one like here. So can I get 
that there, because that's exactly what happens. And then that, I'm pretty sure, is the last of the hardened clay that I need to place, because it opens up into some, back into like another module like this that connects into a module. So we'll go back through here. I know I probably could take the other entrances that I have, but I'm so much more used to using this and I don't want to use the iron doors. So we'll just quickly connect this up and then I will call, or just like finish this little bit off and then I will call this episode it here, guys, because um, it has been going on for a little longer than I normally do, but uh, since I felt like uh, it was a late episode, it you guys deserve to have a, um, a bit of a longer episode, I presume. So we'll just finish this off here. And we'll have, we have some chests right here. And then um, we actually connect into, funny enough, another block here and here. But this is stuff that I can place. Uh, then I have another one here and here. And that one there has that. Does it not? And then, yeah. oh, hello, thunder. And then from here, it connects into another doorway. Um, I just need to look down for a second. And yep, as suspected, I have a slab right there. I'm pretty sure I do, because it goes. Let's just get back up. So you see, full block, we go that, 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 and you should see that last bit there. And then right here, we have the white stained clay and we open up into a new module so uh that's gonna be it for this episode guys as usual i hope you all enjoyed it. i hope you all have an awesome day thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next one so catch you later guys